Someone's been busy, hasn't she? I'd like to think I understood the assignment. That you have. And it's still the tip of the iceberg. Have a fantastic opportunity for you. I'm listening. How would you like to try your hand at one of the most unique experiences in WWE? A position where you'll be able to set the agenda, take control of the whole of the WWE Universe, and truly make a mark. And this magical mystery opportunity will let me do all that? Indeed, in the prestigious role of WWE Raw General Manager. Isn't that you? What, are you going on vacation or something? Well, now that you mention it, I may have plans. Aha! But this is fertile ground for you too. Stepping into a WWE authority role, applying your talents to the other side of sports entertainment. Sure, booking may be a balancing act sometimes, but you already know that from your work as co-owner of TBD. I'm not convinced that this offer isn't just because you want a vacation. But nonetheless, I'll do it. Splendid! I can't wait to catch my flight. Um, uh, see you in action. So when do I start? Well, I should start heading to the airport. So, how's now? Seriously? Don't worry, Raw practically GMs itself. Sure, Bianca needs a challenger for Survivor Series. Bailey and Becky have both been bothering me incessantly about their booking, and the suits in Stamford are especially sensitive to ratings right now. But you'll figure it out. All that GMs itself? Are you sure that's it? Yes. Oh, wait. No. Charlotte needs an opponent for tonight. Actually, this is a good way for you to set the tone of how you'll be running Raw. Every match should tell a story, so you just need to decide which story you'd like to tell. Such as? Are you going to choose an up-and-comer like Nikita Lyons to challenge the Queen? Maybe someone she has a lot of history with, like Rhea Ripley. Or maybe you want to dig into Charlotte's past a bit further. She goes way back with Natalia, including the feud that made Charlotte the first woman to hold all major singles titles in WWE. So, what kind of story do you want to tell? Who will you choose to take on Charlotte? Time you whip I may have Ripley. history with Rhea Ripley, but that also means I know she's a formidable opponent. I'd like to see her face Charlotte. Fantastic choice. Well, good luck to you. I have every confidence. And just a word of advice. Do try to be as neutral as possible as GM. You may find yourself rooting for the talent you put forth. Sometimes even as strongly as if you were in the ring yourself. Heavy is the head of WWE. Yeah. Should be interesting. The nightmare is real. Here comes Rhea Ripley. Unchecked aggression in the women's division. Go on, uh, uh. The I'm gonna get the players these. Is scheduled for one fall, making her way the to the ring, um, representing the judgment day of Adelaide, them. Australia. Pure evil on the face of the Eradicator. You can call it evil, but it's also effective, competing on an even higher level since joining the judgment day. I hate to say it, Corey, but you're right. Absolute dominance from Rhea Ripley as of late. I would agree. This is my brutality. 
I don't know how you can't be nervous when you are prepared for the match of your life against the greatest generational talent in women's division history. Mm. The one and only Charlotte Flair. Perhaps the greatest competitor in the history of the women's division. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair! Well, I just checked the weather here, and the forecast calls for greatness. Charlotte Flair is one of the greatest female superstars of all time. In serious conversation, to be the GOAT. Yeah, look at all the record title reigns. Look at all the main events. Look at all the firsts. The history books were made for someone of Charlotte Flair's caliber. Hmm. Okay, Marvin. Uh -oh. Get this match on the way. Just let Charlotte do her thing. When you talk about the mountaintop in this business, you are talking about Charlotte Flair truly in a league of her own in WWE and showing no signs of letting up. No, no signs. It's a new era on Raw. Oh, the captain helms the ship as temporary general manager. So far, oh. it looks promising. Cap Attempt to defeat Charlotte Flair. Let's not give her GM of the year just yet. I agree, Corey. This is a good start, but let's see what else Cap has planned. Mention up, go drive! Oh my goodness! And they just busted out an impactful Ooh. maneuver. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. And what? Uh-oh. We're gonna see it! What power! Sit down, power bomb! Oh. Two! And oh, just been just her again! She still has to yeah, as ever. the Yeah, beat her. last year. Pick the leg. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh. Watch this. This oh, play no. of power. Sit up, power bomb. Look at this. Oh, a backbreaker. Right to the spine. The spine. Oh no. Oh, well scouted by Ripley. Setting foot in the ring now. Oh. Fighting back with a counter. Oh. Uh oh. Dragon sleeper. Uh oh. Play. This could be it. Oh, nowhere to go. Nowhere oh. To hide. Oh. Bang! German suplex. German suplex. Taking this outside. This could be good. Get in the ring. Ooh, what a forearm oh. club. Oh. And oh, the early. Face first. That attack showed absolutely no care for the well being. Time for her to go. Oh, oh no, wait a minute. She doesn't no. even get a count of one. What stamina. It's truly impressive to completely beat the count here. Oh, she responds with a counter. No. Oh. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? And back into the ring she goes. Mm -hmm. 
Dodges. The speed oh. with that elbow was mind blowing. Oh, a knee. Lights mm. out. Ah, oh, stops to legs. She was clearly waiting for that. Foot to the gut. Watch her set up in the corner. Oof, man, what a hit. A drop kick in the corner. Perfectly oh. executed. And a slap, too. But oh, 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 no. I'm going to come out package. She is showing us something special here tonight. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, it's cranking on my neck. Denied via a wicked punch to the stomach. This match may be nearing its limit. And this is, uh, oh, well, it's not looking good. You know, to be the woman, oh. you have to beat the woman. And Charlotte is in danger of losing that moniker right now. No. I'm gonna get it. Yeah. And still in this. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Oh no, there could be trouble lurking for her with this submission maneuver. Gets to the ropes, forcing the break. A lot of damage done, but the ropes offer a reprieve. Oh. Nice. Got win. Awesome. More attacks up there could leave her severely impaired. Great response to Ripley there. Mm. Oh no. Shin breaker. Oh no. Uh oh. Back elbow. Can't let her get the figure four, man. Oh, the figure eight. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Counters on counters. Oh, Technical oh. prowess on display. Oh, hell. Emphatic fall away there. Oh, nice scoop slam. So and reaffilling the brunt of yet another attack there. Looked like Charlotte was uncorked with that attack. to the bread basket for their troubles. Oh, driving the elbow. Oh, oh. No oh. Whoa, whoa, oh. whoa. Look at this raw Going for the gut again. Turn to the ring. Hooked up. Now oh, look at the power mm. side slam. She's going for it. And she's able to stop the count early. I'm having a hard time believing that one. No. Don't stick. Suplex lands. Quick counter there. Hmm. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. No, oh, no. Look at this. She better well, have a good oh, oh. reason for no. this. Oh. Um. Throw, saying not today. Ripley has things right where she wants them. Here we go. Ripley oh no. Whoa, well, wait. No. No, whoa, well, wait. I think that'd be a rope. Rope, right? No. Guess not. The nightmare has toppled the queen. A career altering victory for Rhea Ripley.
An intense competition between these two dominant young women, that's for sure. And I imagine we'll have the pleasure of seeing them in battle again in the future. But tonight, Rhea Ripley is showing Charlotte Flair her brutality. Let's talk to Lita. Mm. Well, if it isn't the new GM of Raw. Well, if it isn't Lita, what can I do for you? I love that even in your first outing as GM, you put your focus on a tried and tested rivalry. Maybe it even offers... <laughs> I doubt that. So I can't skip that. Yeah, honestly, me too. But maybe it'll be different for me. I still feel like I have some loose ends from over the years to tie up with Trish. You don't say. Hey, at least we know we have a problem, and that's the first step. Can you book me in a match against her? It's just better if it comes from you. Trish and Lita in a match on my Raw? It would be my pleasure. I'm not here to fight. Good. I don't want to fight either. Then maybe we can work together on my idea? And what's that? Survivor Series. I know for a fact that not only has Raw not announced a main event, but Regal had nothing in the plans yet. So... Let's take the bull by the horns and do something truly spectacular. War games. I can't just book a war games match, Shotzi. Why not? Are you GM in name only? No, I mean, I love war games as much as the next person, but it's not a match to be taken lightly. You need a reason. Something that merits putting two teams who want each other's throats inside a double ring cage to battle it out with abandon. Who would even be the captains? I captained my team in NXT, and I was excellent. Ah, so this is the classic, my pitch is that I should be in a main event pitch, right? There are rules to booking. Excuse me, but when did Little Miss TBD Rebel, who puts people through tables, become a lawful, good rule follower? Don't you ever just want to smash things for the hell of it anymore? Actually, you may have a point. I do miss that. So let's screw the so-called rules and do this. Put yourself in it against me, and we can absolutely destroy each other in that cage. We pick teams, go all out, and millions of people tune in to watch the joyful carnage. The two of us are perfect for war games. You're the captain, and I already drive a tank to the ring for crying out loud. You know what, Shotzi? It might not be a terrible idea. Let me think on it. That's all I'm asking for. If I could have a minute. <sighs> what is it, Troy? I honestly don't have time for your tone tonight. I'm trying to manage a show. My tone? I would never use a tone with you. I, I think you're doing a great job, top notch. Ha ha, very funny. Oh, you're serious. I guess now that I'm the management, you have to suck up to me. I'm not sucking up. I, I think your ideas are genius, boss. Of course they are, Troy. I'm smart. Now what's up? Yeah, Becky and Bailey. They're being particularly difficult in hounding us to be named Bianca's next challenger at Survivor Series. Ah, I'm sure they snuck into your DMs too, but I'm used to superstars pestering us for opportunities. <laughs> no offense. 
But this is getting out of hand. How do you want me to handle it? Why don't we just have Becky and Bailey face each other for the title opportunity? That'll be a great match and solve our problem. Great suggestion, boss. I'll set it up. Wow, you really know your stuff. <sighs> I could get used to this version of you, Troy. Time to get extreme. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Sanford, North Carolina. Lena! Hey, here's a Hall of Famer with plenty of attitude. The controversial the rebellious, the breathtaking Lita. All those attributes are what have made Lita a true legend. On behalf of the entire WWE Universe, thank you, Trish. Such a suck up. And from Toronto, You know, since Trish's return to WWE, she has been relentless in attacking her foes with a level of aggression we've never seen from her before. Well, at times early in her career, Trish had a thankless job. You do that for long enough, and the aggression just comes naturally. Trish just isn't content to be thanked anymore. She wants revenge. Two of the greatest of all time and one of the greatest rivalries of all time. One more chapter starting right now. Referee in position. Two count. And now we'll about do it, folks. I wasn't concentrating, damn it. What a victory for Trish Stratus here tonight. Cementing her legacy. Oh, wait. Turn. Come to congratulate me on a successful show. <laughs> I was just out back soaking in the success of the Trish and Lita match. So you didn't see the number one contender match with Becky and Bailey? No, that match practically booked itself. Why? Who won? Who are we putting against Bianca at Survivor Series? We have a problem. Damage control ran in during the match. And at first, it looked like maybe a straightforward DQ victory for Becky, but then she got irked and went after them. And technically, the bell rang at some point, but with all the fighting that broke out outside the ring, nobody really won. And we still need a challenger for Bianca. If I may make a meager suggestion, Survivor Series is right around the corner. You may just have to step up as GM and make a decision. No, we still have one Raw left before Survivor Series. Let's do a rematch. Becky versus Bailey to determine Bianca's challenger. Do you really think the match will go any differently this time around? I do. Because as much as it pains me to admit it, you're right about one thing. I need to step up as GM. So I'll be serving as special guest referee. Commanding the I'm ring. Gonna be a referee. The captain. The captain. The following contest is a special guest referee. The captain match. Match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match. The superstar. Cap 
Champ has been making waves ever since her WWE tryout. If by waves you mean doing a great job of making the rest of the locker room suspicious of her motives, then yeah, sure. The captain is ready to call the shots. The man has arrived. And the WWE Universe is on their feet. And the participants, first from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. The man has shown where there's smoke, there's fire. And she has taken it as her mission to reinvigorate the level of competition in every women's division. Becky Lynch has made it clear for anyone who's big game hunting that the man's not hard to find. She's inviting the competition to take their best shot. The man is the personification of guts and passion. Becky's built an amazing career by seizing the opportunity. Oh, the man will make you famous. The smartest thing to do is keep her name out of your mouth altogether. Unfortunately for the opposition tonight, it's far too late for that. The self-proclaimed role model. A proven role model. And representing damage control from San Jose, California, Bailey! Ding dong, hello. She has crashed the party and taken the women's division by force. And Bailey now has more muscle by her side than ever. Bailey claims that the locker room needs to learn that the world does not revolve around them. Because it's the role model's world and we're just living in it. Do we have to? Well, you know what they say, guys? To be the man, you have to beat the man. And she's about to face the man. Not going to go down without the fight of her life tonight. Our general manager, the captain, promises that we'll have a number one contender. Okay, here we go. Oh, what? Oh, oh yeah, because I'm the referee. On time. By the end of this match, will it be Becky Lynch or Bailey? We'll know soon enough, and with Cap as... Oh. All the way to the outside. Look out. right. And back in the ring we go. What in the Don't world is she doing? Way, She's the ref. Man. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Cover and a kick out. She is still very oh. much in this. Oh, well. And Oh, wait. She had it scouted. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Launch face first. Can she do it here? I'm not doing the count. She kicks out with authority. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Ooh, Becky just aggressively going after that arm. Basement drop kick. She scurries out of there. And now she's getting back into the ring. 
Boom. This game's about winning at any and all costs. This competitor knows exactly what they want to do. Persona oh. World. Like they say, what goes oh. up must come down, and that was a long way down. Dominating the cover. And a kick out by Becky Lynch. Whoa. And the referee just doing exactly what she's supposed to do. And gotta give our referee credit. She wasn't trying to influence the result there. Catches a punch. <laughs> Maybe I should have looked at the instructions at first. Oh, good. Uh, mm. Inch is pinning Bailey first. And then press X. X count. And there's more! What a leg drop! She can end it here! And she kicks it at two! And that was the kind of count you want to see. No funny business with that count. She just got right down to business. Oh! Oh. Gets out of there in a hurry. No one. Returning to the ring now. From way up, double axe handle. Blast off! She certainly took a chance there. Oh. High risk with no reward. And now she's looking to go top row. Maybe going up. We all know what she's looking to do next. Up high. Whoa. Cross body. And shoulders are down. Two. A kick out before three. You can't argue with the job our ref did there. Our official didn't show any favorites with that count. Delivering nasty stops. The proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Oh, from behind, that'll give you some whiplash. <laughs> Bailey's got her hook. Good flex. Nice suplex. flex. Bailey continuously executing her game plan. Bailey's calling the shots out mm. here. What's Bailey going for? Oh. Bailey's fired up and wants this crowd to know it. Big knee to the midsection. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? No. She's able to get out of the way. She's uh -oh. She has trouble coming. Not going to be easy to get out of there. Cross on bars in. No. Change of plans. Oh. Waist lock. Belly to belly. And Lynch is looking worse for wear after that. His belly the amazing belly. Elbow drop. Elbow to oh. the leg, and look at this, just attacking the knee. Oof, and all the impact dropped to the knee. Nasty. the pin right down the line. We saw a proper cadence and position on that pinfall attempt. Oh. 
Okay, it took me a little while to figure the count out. Truly fighting to the last breath. Look out! And she doesn't connect. Really? What was that? She catches Bailey with a counter. What bother? Oh, toss across. And an elbow drop to the arm. She still fights out in one. Oh, come on. Our guest referee is not being fair. Yeah, not so sure that count was completely by the... This might be the game. What? Help. Oh. Help. Mucky. Can that finish Bailey? Two count. And a big victory here tonight. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. Down the middle. Lynch beats Bailey. The man would have fought Are you fair? to win this match. You knew once Becky entered the ring, man was pulling out all the stops. A lot of people thought Bailey's offense would be enough, and a lot of people were wrong. Well, that was something. Hey, you were the one who said I should put my finger on the scale. Yeah, but I thought that and don't get caught part was implied. Uh, guess not. I wasn't actively trying to get caught. Too bad you don't have the chance to course correct the championship match before Survivor Series. But maybe I do. How? Survivor Series is this weekend. You can't send Becky and Bailey back out there tonight for another rematch. No, but there's another option. As someone said recently, I'm Miss TBD Rebel, not a lawful good rule follower. And Raw is a three hour show. There's an announcement I need to make. All right, Miss TBD Rebel. Whatever you've got up your sleeve, good luck. Okay. This is the second time we've seen the acting Raw general manager in the ring tonight, but this time she has a special announcement. Here's hoping this goes more smoothly than her stint as special guest referee. As GM, I'm not deaf to the concerns of the WWE Universe. Specifically, that my involvement in our number one contender match earlier tonight may have made it look like management was biased towards Becky Lynch. I assure you, my intent as GM is simply to put on the best show for the WWE Universe. And that applies to not just Raw, but Survivor Series. As such, it is my duty to inform you that Bianca Belair will not be defending the Women's World Championship this weekend. Bianca's being pulled from Survivor Series? She will not be defending this weekend because it's clear Bailey and Becky Lynch are not done yet. I just hope they have allies to rally to their side. Eight fighters, two teams of four. War Games! War Games at Survivor Series? I'm not missing this one. Well, we're paid to be there, Saxton. I know, but it's still incredibly exciting. You really did it this time, didn't you, you dummy? I think you'd be happy that you're getting another opportunity to earn the title match in War Games. Should have just booked the War Games match from the start, honestly. Want to be on my team? Why do you want me on your team? I think it's pretty clear from your time as GM that you've been going into business for yourself here and just doing whatever you can to scrape by. And that's exactly what I look for in damage control. 
So what do you say? Join me, Dakota, and Io in the fight to secure my WWE Women's World Championship match? I'll get back to you. I probably should be upset at you for putting another hurdle in front of my title match. But honestly... Fair play. Glad we're okay. We are. And I respect your hustle. You've made a lot of bold choices since coming to WWE. It's one of the reasons I want you to be on my War Games team. Really? I like your instincts, especially when you get in trouble and have to think quickly on your feet. Heck, I even trust your instincts. Team with me, and I'll let you pick the rest of the War Games team. Uh, let me think about it. Hey, I've been looking for you. I thought we were gonna meet outside of catering. <laughs> Turns out I was pretty busy in here. Both Becky and Bailey want me to be on their war games team. You can't be serious. You lost this up so badly and they both want you on their team? Hm. What can I say? I'm a catch. I swear there's something in the water around here that allows you to walk away from the consequences of your actions unscathed. <laughs> I'm sure putting yourself into the main event while you're also acting GM will be no different. <laughs> Thanks for another great promoter lecture. Look, I know you're gonna do it anyway. Who are you teaming with? Important decisions crucial to you, my ways are marked with... Why, oh why... These icons slightly uh, signify a decision that changes the trajectory of your story or, wi or which superstars might align with you in the future. Okay. Try playing Undisputed and Unleashed multiple times to experience the opposite path when presented with the icon as you will see different stories from these choices mm. oh god uh, you know i'm gonna say becky. becky said she'd let me pick the rest of the team i'm joining her side can't wait for you to get absolutely no flack for putting yourself into the match that you set up. Have you decided who else you'll ask to join you and Becky? Nah, who else should I pick? It's time for war game. Becky said she'll let me pick the teammate. Select two allies to join you and Becky to take on Bailey's team. Hmm. Maybe fan. Akel Rodriguez. Alexa Bliss. Shayna Baszler. Sonny DeVille. Okay, let's see. Natella. Charlotte Flair. Psycho Sally. Oh, so we got the whole women's roster then. Justine. Trish Stratus. Mm. Let's see. I think I'll go Charlotte. Oh, what oh, on two, two people? Oh, 
Um. Cycle Sally? No, wait. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Psycho Sally. Psycho Sally. Well, good luck. I'm sure it'll be interesting. <laughs>